Hi, my name is Dana Loberg, and I'm a history major from Yale University, and I'm excited to share a new perspective on our human history, the history of us. You may know me as the co-founder of Leo AR, a mobile app, as well as a few other startups in Silicon Valley. As an entrepreneur in technology, I have a keen interest in exploring the various possibilities of our past. I hope that you will find this version of our history intriguing and approach it with an open mind. It may challenge some of your existing traditional thoughts. Today, we will talk about the history of light. Light has always been one of the most intriguing subjects for humanity throughout history. Every new beginning that came after the Big Bang is remembered with light. Scientists and philosophers who tried to answer the question of what existed before the beginning use the properties of light to help. They were trying to uncover the underlying structure of the universe and they utilized the unique characteristics of light. For everything that was difficult to grasp or solve, they used the name dark. The presence of knowledge was referred to as light, while areas untouched by its brilliance were collectively known as ignorance. The reason humanity strives to tell the story of concepts such as knowledge, existence, non-existence, and ignorance alongside light is rooted in the connection that light has with these events. The light, which is the name of the beginning, is the cause of the beginning. Let's briefly look at what light is before delving into its history. What is light? Light or visible light is electromagnetic radiation that is within the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be detected by the human eye. Light that we cannot see is located outside the range of what our eyes can detect. Light, like other electromagnetic radiation, is made up of little packages called photons. Photons have qualities of both waves and particles. The foundational particle responsible for the generation of light is referred to as a photon. What is a photon? Light is made up of particles called photons, which are massless and have no charge. The foundation of matter lies in atoms, whose composition is constituted of subatomic particles. The coming together of subatomic particles to form a meaningful entity is closely related to the structure of another subatomic particle called the photon. Photon is the captured form of light into a cube. A particle needs to be stripped of all factors to be free of charge. To reach a state of weightlessness, something must be enclosed in a specific manner. Being stripped of factors and having a form requires that we envision a geometric representation. Photons must be in this geometric shape. In this manner, they are capable of both reflecting upon and impacting and transversing through our translucent body. Photon embodies the essence of light confined within a specific geometric arrangement. Let us examine the possibility of this arrangement. Photons geometry. If this geometric structure were completely spherical, atoms wouldn't be able to form molecular compounds with each other because charge differences would not occur. If this geometric structure was cone-shaped, it would result in single-pole magnetism, making it so the physical properties of new matter wouldn't be different from each other. For the photon to possess neither mass nor charge, it must reside within a cubic form. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of a cube. What kind of cube? The inside of the cube holds the purest form of light with a restricted motion. The light is different from the structure that we can observe. It doesn't have a burning or breaking kind of light. However, it is expected to be of a magnitude capable of encompassing all the conceivable sizes. The cube has expanded with the energy of pure light. This expansion is such magnitude that it cannot be merely referred to as large. At its inception, the cube was of a magnitude sufficient to encompass all universes. This magnitude has grown through internal reflections and continues to do so. However, 
Even after the first moment, this growth has barely expanded as much as a single electron. This seemingly small development is equivalent to an incredibly minuscule fraction of a second. We can thus assert that nearly the entirety of history lasted but an instant. Every reflection signals the start of the system's progression with the emergence of a smaller cube. The rapid formation of each reflection within the massive entity has a swiftly birthed a new photon within a new cube. Each cube within the larger entity moves like organs that start as small cells and morph into distinct shapes. This occurs at a remarkably high velocity, enabling the formation of various forms of matter. Varying forms of masses are shaped by the behavior patterns of photons. In its primary manifestation, delicate particles of light are invested with mighty momentum. This form may be considered as two steps anterior to the material realm. This phase synchronizes with the inception of manifestation. In its secondary manifestation, light now fortified as particles begins to decline in momentum. This occurrence marks the phase of electron genesis. Furthermore, it is the phase during which the volume forms indicative of matter's presence emerge. Many scientists espouse a metaphysical perspective on this phase. The third form is the stage of existence coming into being. Let's examine how existence came into being. What happened at the first moment of existence? Each photon has the ability to become an electron perception. Electrons are the result of photons losing speed and gaining mass. Photons started slowing down right after the creation of time. Time is an existence that causes slowing down. Slowing down creates a natural volume. The natural volume creates natural mass attraction. Natural mass attraction is a volume function that can be referred to as general volume. In the first moment of existence, the photon showed, slowed down and transformed into an electron. The transformation of the electron caused an electromagnetic wave. The electron was ready to attract every particle that would form the nucleus of an atom from the second mass form. If this attraction were faster than necessary, it would mean that the entire volume would come together and end before it even started. In the scenario of an insufficient pull of the electron towards the core of the atom, the physical and the chemical pro properties of numerous molecules observable in our world would undergo transformations in correspondence with the passage of time. Everything had to be in order, on time, in the right place, and enough. Light was a guiding force for existence. But how? Let's talk about slabs. In the meantime, the walls of the biggest cube that was trapped in pure light became a slab that carried traces for each electron that was in time. Each slab was becoming a software that would guide the electrons. The plates both kept the electrons at the right speed and created the necessary gravitational field for their place. Slabs, let's talk about slabs. In the meantime, the walls of the biggest cube that was trapped in pure light became a slab that carried traces for each electron that was in time. Each slab was becoming a software that would guide the electrons. The plates both kept the electrons at the right speed and created the necessary gravitational field for their place. The history was written on these slabs before it was lived. The light was guiding the history with the strength from these slabs. The first atom of history still exists today. The last atom that will end the existence of history is waiting for the final signal from the slab. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions or want me to explain more about certain parts of this video, please feel free to leave a comment or question under this video. That way, I can get a consensus on which topics we should expand into and explain more in depth in future videos. Thanks so much for listening and I hope this brings more enlightenment to everyone.